Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and today I wanted to do a comparison. Our 150 versus our 125. And I wanted to do this because if you walk into a place like PetSmart, often the two largest tanks that they have is a 4 foot 150 and a 6 foot 125. The 150 tends to be a little bit more expensive than the 125, but obviously it's a larger volume. And so I wanted to talk about your options, especially when it comes to a larger tank, so stay tuned. All right, so both tanks are great options. If you're looking to get into a larger tank, a 125 or 150 gives you tons of stocking options. It can be a lot of fun. When I first got into larger tanks, one of the first tanks I got was the 4 foot 150. So I want to talk a little bit about that tank, some of the advantages and disadvantages of that tank, but then also compared to the 125, because often people are making that decision, which one do you go with? So with the 150, things I like about it, it's big, all right? It's a big tank, 150 gallons of water, gives you some options to keep some, pr some pretty big fish. The second thing I like about it is that four foot length will allow you to keep a larger tank in a shorter footprint. And that can be advantageous. So that tank is 48 inches long, it's 24 inches deep, and about 30 to 31 inches tall. What that means, if you're looking at surface area, you're going to get somewhere around 1,100, maybe not quite 1,200 square inches of area. Now, that's important, and I highly recommend, if you haven't already, take a look at our There's More to Tank Size Than Just Its Volume video. I will put a link to that in the description. We talk a lot more about why that surface area is important for many types of fish, and I give you lots of examples. But that is a nice advantage. You're getting a decent amount of surface area on a small footprint, so that can be great. It increases your stocking options. But there are some drawbacks to a tank with those dimensions. One, it's a very deep tank. And so working on a tank that's 30 to 31 inches tall requires you to have either really long stretchy arms or some type of tool that's going to allow you to easily plant plants, whether fake or real, move decorations around, fix gravel. Maybe you gotta grab a sponge filter out of the bottom of that tank. All of those things are much more difficult to do when you've got a 30 or 31 inch tall tank. Lighting can also be a little bit of an issue if you're going to be uh, having plants in that 150. Again, getting that light all the way to the bottom of the tank. And I think probably the biggest issue that I have with that tank is the four foot length. Uh, while you can keep larger fish in there, we've got some tinfoil barbs in that tank, a ballast shark. I really wish I had a six foot tank for them as opposed to a four foot tank. Give them a little bit more length when it comes to swimming. Most fish would appreciate a longer tank as opposed to a taller tank. They're going to swim side to side a lot more frequently than they're going to swim vertically. So that's certainly a drawback. Now, as we switch gears and get to the 125, it's a six foot tank, so it's 72 inches long, and it's about 18 inches wide and somewhere around 23, 23 and a half inches tall. Now, that tank, believe it or not, even though it's 25 gallons less volume, you do, you do get more surface area. In fact, you're gonna be pretty close to 1,300 square inches. So it's a little bit more surface area, even though it's a smaller tank, but the big thing I like about that tank is the six foot length. In my opinion, it gives you even more stocking options. It allows fish that side-to-side -side lateral movement that they really like. It's a shorter tank, makes it a little bit easier to work on. So when you're replanting plants or you're fixing substrate, and as you can see in our 125 with our Oscars and that tilapia, they love to dig. Usually I make an attempt to kind of fix that tank up a little bit before I film it. The problem I have right now is the OBs just had an entire... Uh, batch of fry and they're all swimming around back there in that little leafy area uh, in the middle of the middle of the tank by the sponge filter so I'm really not wanting to disrupt that right now and fix substrate and pull stuff around I, I don't know if any of them are gonna survive but we'll see so that 125 it's awesome because it's long the other reasons why I like it is it's a little bit easier to get water movement in the 125, so whether it's hang on the back filters or sponge filters or a canister filter, because it's not quite as deep, we can get water movement closer to the bottom of that tank. It's a little bit more challenging with the 150. And while I'm not growing plants in either one of the tanks, it would most likely be a lot easier to grow plants in the 125 because the distance from where the light is at the top of the tank to the substrate is going to be shorter. And that's going to make for more light penetration and hopefully better plant growth. 
So I wanted to cover this topic because those are the two main options. When you walk into a place like PetSmart, you got the 125, you got the 150, and it's, it's sometimes tough to figure out which one is gonna be best for you. And ultimately, that is your decision. If you've got the space for a six-foot tank, I would tend to lean towards the 125. I just like the way it looks better. I like the length. I like the fact that the fish can swim around uh, a little bit more. I like the fact that if I wanted to, I could set up little different uh, areas in that tank that might look a little bit different, a rocky area, maybe a planted area. And so those things uh, certainly might be a little bit easier to do in a six foot tank compared to the four foot tank. But if you don't have the space for the six foot tank, that 150 is a nice tank as well. It still gives you a lot of stocking options. The other thing I'd like to say is if you've got an opinion, if you've had that 150 tall or a 125 and you've got an opinion as to which one you like better and why, definitely leave that in the comments section below. We'd love to hear your experiences. So if you like this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.